Welcome back. It has happened again from Yahoo to Google. Your personal information is being compromised. Email and home addresses, phone numbers, even credit card information. All of it could be in the hands of a total stranger. Sony Entertainment says its online accounts have been hit for the third time in recent weeks. It's a new kind of cyber attack called spear phishing. Our technology expert, Anthony Mangaluzzo, joining us. Good to see you, my friend. Nice to see you. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the online oh, waters, man. bam. What's I, I don't have a good prop, though, for you. I don't have a spear. I'm glad you yeah. don't. I don't well, want to get me, targeted here. There. What is spear phishing? Spear phishing is a very sophisticated way of trying to steal your information. Back in the day, yeah. you would get these emails from Bank of America saying your account's been compromised, but you weren't on Bank of America. Now, once the hackers compromise places like Sony or other different online services, they'll use your personal information to call you, contact you, act like they know you, um. tell you you're in risk, and then use your but you. But how do they do that? Because, you know, if Sony, if I get an email from Sony and I have a Sony online account, I'm going to believe it, right? Exactly. And even a little bit more, remember, credit cards were hit with the Sony online scam. So if your credit card's a TD Bank Visa, mm -hmm. they'll call you and say, hey, was this the last four digits of your credit card number? Oh, you've been hacked. Please give me more info so I could fix this for you. But how are they you. doing that? How are they doing that? They, how are they stole the, information? They stole it right from Sony. They steal it from Google. Your local restaurant, when you swipe your credit card, if their database gets hit, they might have a profile on you. They might know what you like to eat every week, and then they'll use that, hey, Thomas, you like steak, right? Yeah. So they're going directly to the company, stealing their information, which is your information, and you believe it, so you're providing more information. How do you protect it's, yourself? It's very tough. One of the ways that I really recommend is you have to use, one, a fake, not a fake email account, but a separate email account for all that stuff. You have to use unique passwords. Typically, a lot of people use the same password for multiple services. Mm -hmm. So if your Facebook password matches your online banking and it matches other services that you do, the hackers know this. They'll try it. So you have to use a strong, unique password. I heard the worst place you can check your personal email is at work. Work is very tough for two reasons. One, your IT guy at the office, no one wants to believe this, your IT guy has access to everything. He could pull your email box, he could take your email home with him and read it so he doesn't even have to read it at the desk. What? It's very scary. So I should be nicer to him from now be on. Be nice, be <laughs> nice to him. Know. How do you recognize a uh, spear phishing email? Uh, what you need to do really is there's actually no great way to recognize it. None? The only thing you'll see is it will seem a little abnormal. For instance, if I sent you an email, you know we're friends, do you know the mm -hmm. tone of my email? Mm -hmm. The way you do it is you pick up the phone and call the person oh, if it's an unusual second request. Right. Second guess, never give any information via email. Just don't Very do it. Very good advice. you got to keep that in mind. I'm going to bake cookies for the IT guy this weekend. Ask. Make sure he doesn't steal. Not that he ever would. No. Anthony Mangelus, always good to see you, my friend. Thank you, Thomas. Have a good weekend, by the way. You too. So, you know, we mentioned earlier there's a 